Hey guys, what's going on? DZ here, and I kind of wanted to walk you through some of the ins and outs of the newly released Brushless Hummingbird. Ooh! So let's get started. So this is how it is actually going to come if you do purchase a kit from Newbie Drone. It's going to come inside of the Goober Canopy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is in the Goober Canopy. It has a different holder. Uh, then your motors are there. So to assemble this kit is super, super simple. Uh, I'd start with the motors, just stick the motors on there, and then put your FC on top, four screws for the FC. Then you plug and play your VTX, and you're basically good to go. So the easiest way to set this up is to go ahead and, like I said, assemble it. So apply your motors, four screws for the FC, plug and play the camera, plug and play the motors, onboard RX, and you're pretty much good to go. So this is the first release of the Hummingbird, so if there are any issues, we will be fixing it through the firmware, which is why we're releasing the video on how to flash the firmware for both your FC and your BL Heli S ESCs. But let me show you how easy it is to set up. So there are actually two different firmwares. There's one that says OSD and there's one that says non-OSD, and that's pushing the OSD signal through our B sign, which is basically our version of kind of like smart audio. With that said, right now, if, it's, if you're using plug and play and you load the OSD firmware on there, you may or may not get a little bit of static in your video. If you do, right now the easy fix is to solder on a wire, and I'll show you where that wire goes in that picture right there. So you can see there's that part of the board that you solder it onto, and then there's that simple pin on the VTX, and that'll ensure you have perfect video, no issues whatsoever. So to recap, it is all plug and play. This is our Hummingbird brushless kit, super simple to assemble. I might do an assembly video uh, later in the future, but really all it is is apply your motors, put your FC in, plug in your camera, plug in your motors, bind it, set it up in Betaflight, and you are good to go. With that said, again, let me reiterate this, uh, there are two versions of the firmware if you go if you're planning to do the hardwire to guarantee no video issues whatsoever no static or anything in your video you flash no sd firmware and you will get the perfect video like that now if you want to try it out and see if it's good enough if maybe the video static won't affect you uh, you can just plug in load the osd firmware plug it straight in you don't have to do anything just send it and you're good to go also guys, this uses B sign, so if you do go into your menu and you want to change anything uh, with your stick commands, use BS, not Smart Audio, not Tramp, any of those. Use BS, it's going to be the B sign, that's how you change this via the stick commands. So we do have 2KV options available, 18,000 and 20,000. Both are plug and play, both are the same size, really all it is is how much power do you want. Alright guys, hopefully that helped you out, hopefully you spread some good information on there. If you do have any questions, uh, although, although this is not a newbie drone product, it's Hummingbird and we work very, very closely with that engineering team so we still do the newbie drone support for Hummingbird products. Just, uh, yeah, if you have any issues, reach out to us and we'll take care of you. Hopefully that helped. We'll see you on the next episode, guys.